goes to the conventional stance. De La Hoya throws the straight right hand. Whitaker short with most of these jabs. There's one that landed. And a couple of left hands as he held on to De La Hoya's left arm. Mills Lane trying to gain command of the fight. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. He's making a move on him, and he's catching him when he's got him off balance. Just like when he relaxes inside, Oscar De La Hoya is hitting him with a right or a left uppercut. Hard left hand by Whitaker there. Closing seconds of round six, halfway through, a tactical battle between the two great welterweights. It did no serious damage and has not affected the Larry, fight. let me explain it. The president of the WBC, Jose Suleiman, insists that if a guy gets an accidental headbutt, he has to even it out somehow or another. So he takes a point from the uncut fighter. That's his justification for it. I don't believe it's the fair thing to do. An accident is an accident. I think if the cut is in a place where it may show up to be something in the future, a point should be taken. But if it's not, then I think the fight should be left alone. thing that sometimes happens between southpaws and conventional fighters when they get their feet tangled up. Now Whitaker completely turns his back on De La Hoya as De La Hoya chases him with right hand power shots. Brunel goes back to the jab. De La Hoya has to make sure not, that he doesn't get frustrated and over anxious right here at this point. This is the type of tactic that can make him get frustrated and get him out of his head. Whitaker is used to this type of stuff. More and more, Whitaker seems to be loading up and trying to land one big left hand shot which could change things in the bout. A good body shot by Will. The one criticism I would have, you saw the punch stat numbers that show that only in one round in the fight has Whitaker thrown as many as 60 punches. I don't think he can beat De La Hoya throwing 44 punches around. Yeah, but how many is De La Hoya throwing? About 40 or 44. Yeah, but how many more than how many is he landing, though, Jim? He's landing fewer than uh, Purnell. There you go. So but his, his, you have a his good landed fight. punches have more effect. Well, you think. We shall know. see. Like I said, score is nightmare. <laughs> You're right, because you can't really tell what, the, we what you like. We can see three wildly different scorecards at the end of this fight. Because it's according to what you like. You're right there. That's what makes boxing so different. Oscar De La Hoya may win this fight, but you can't say that his introduction into the welterweight division has been a huge success so far. Well, he picked the toughest fight he could possibly pick to enter the division. You're right there. Goes back to the southpaw stance, does De La Hoya. I have to even argue that. That could have been scored a knockdown. It is a knockdown. It is a knockdown. It is a knockdown. Yeah, it's a is knockdown. De La Hoya's knee touching the canvas. And that will affect the scorecards, too. So that, that gets back. That point taken away from Whitaker if we have a two-point round. De La Hoya with the jab as Oscar tries to come in. Whatever the outcome of this fight against one of the best young fighters in the world, the 33-year-old Fernell Whitaker, is holding his own, which gives you an idea of just how great he was in his prime. Good shot by De La Hoya. Whitaker keeps going forward here. De La Hoya gets a chance to counter effectively. But again, Whitaker lands the jab. De La Hoya lands a power shot in return. 
Now Wilkins, I mean, Delahoy is boxing like her title fought with her. And Whitaker had nothing but trouble with her title before he knocked him out in the 11th. Now he's doing something that he should have been considered doing all night long. Which is? Moving in boxing. Don't try to trade Whitaker. Make Whitaker come at him and do like her title did him. Why shouldn't you trade with him? You're stronger than he is. You're younger than he is. You're supposed to be quicker than he is. Supposed to. He doesn't have the experience that, to trade with Whitaker like that. He's a superb fighter, but he doesn't have that kind of experience where he just trade with Whitaker. Great flurry by Delahoya to end the tent. Whitaker gets a couple body shots back in return. No shot going at him to, to knock him out, so he wants to try to outbox Whitaker now. That's what he should have been thinking all night. No, 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 no. Whitaker is the, young, is the older fighter. You don't go out there and try to outbust him. You give him a chance to win the fight. You think the judges are going to penalize De La Hoya, as Larry obviously is mentally, for being too cautious? I don't know. I know he's going to get himself in a dog fight now, though. Whitaker turned and clown for the crowd. Not sure who Whitaker was looking for over there. Maybe his buddy Evander Holyfield or Mark Breland. Now he's complaining because Delahoy was hitting him with a shoulder. Good jab by Whitaker. Whitaker sticking the jab. Whitaker often commanding the space horizontally, back and forth from side to side. De La Hoya with another relatively cautious round. Switches to the southpaw stance. Which I think served him well early, but then later might have gotten him in trouble. Just missed with the left hand. Didn't have a lot of snap behind it anyway. Hard left hands for Whitaker. Two in a row. And another good left hand counter inside for Sweet Pea. Very confident as round 11 comes down the stretch. Whitaker has to make sure that he doesn't let Oscar catch him when they're like right there tied up. Right when the referee was number seven to say break, Oscar's trying to hit Whitaker with a good punch. Father, the balance could hang here. Whitaker seems to have this fight under control right now, but he has to make sure that he doesn't get knocked out here in this last round. It's the third time in Oscar De La Hoya's career that he has gone the 12-round distance in each of the two predecessors against John John Molina and Miguel Angel Gonzalez. As Larry told you, he closed out brilliantly with dominant 12th round. He starts slowly here. Harold, how do you have it going to the last round? Jim, I agree with Lou Duva. This is a close fight. Six rounds to five, 104, 103, Oscar De La Hoya. I think it's about as close as you can get. I think this 12th is going to decide the fight. I have Whitaker ahead by about a point myself. I don't know if either fighter deserves to win this fight if it ends this way. Big flurry for De La Hoya a moment ago. Whitaker looking for tactical opportunities to land that left and keep sticking the right. De La Hoya loves to overwhelm his opponents with energy in the 12th. Hard to do that against a guy whose style is giving you fits, as Whitaker's style is giving De La Hoya fits. So what will it be? The welterweight coronation of the rising golden boy, or the final affirmation of the champion's Hall of Fame status? A minute and a half left for Brunel Whitaker to make one more great statement on his career, or for Oscar De La Hoya to begin building a bridge to immortality. I think it's going to take 12 more rounds to tell who's truly the better fighter. Uh, in my view, for now, Whitaker has already made his statement, regardless, as I've said before, of the outcome here.